sorry. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have a furry visitor. This is episode 12, The Real Deal. Tim suspects the sponsorship offer made to Jane is not entirely legitimate and enlists Amy and Georgie's help in persuading her to reject it. So someone is going to, I guess, sponsor Jade with the rodeo and Tim suspects legitimate. So it makes you wonder how he thinks it's not legitimate. Like if the person is just wanting Jade for some bad reasons or scamming or what, you know, like giving her a bad check. So I like that he's going to enlist their help. They're going to try to convince her. I mean, obviously, I think what's going to happen is Jade is going to accept it. It's going to be false. And she's going to realize that she should have listened. Or she will listen to them and reject it. I can see it going one or two ways. Either way. And I will say I liked in the last episode how Jack rode Buddy. You know? Like I said, we saw... And ride Phoenix, which was good because then he was starting to ride again and get back on on the horse after paint. But yeah, it was nice seeing him ride Buddy. And I like that, you know, Buddy is still his buddy. You know. Let's get started. Must be a little while later since his arm is in the sling. I'm still mad at you. <laughs> That's cool that Jade wants to do rodeo. I'm surprised her mom is still letting her do it. So tell Georgie about it. She's hey. 15, Take for Christ's sake. Hey, sorry for just dropping by. I'm a... Come on, Phoenix. Conference. Come on, yeah. Wow, since they're partners, yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. They finally got that part down. Almost like he's afraid of the water or something. He probably Do is. Do you like some little stuff? Cassie would know. When I can see troubles in a lot of pain. And his face. I, I would assume that they had done something to fix his face, but he still has that cut there. You'd think that it would have healed. Ride rodeo. Ride rodeo. Oh, boy. Uh, Mr. Keith. <laughs> I'm in the law, okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's trying to get sponsored. He was at one point. Would you like to speak for that? That's a good one. Wow, are those all your matches? Yeah, I took forever to enter into the spreadsheet. <laughs> into a spreadsheet. Also, too reckless. Mm-hmm, definitely. Oh, I tried. 
Something else is going to have to compromise. Okay. Okay. To come face to face with that. You too, Lou. Her. And I just don't want you to go through that all over again. So I'm going to keep you in the loop every step of the way. Uh, okay, sure. I think that still would be a bit disappointing, finding out that both your parents are going to start dating again. Because it is kind of more confirmation that they're not going to stay together. And, you know, I'm kind of with Jack on that. I know online dating is kind of the thing, but maybe I'm a little more old-fashioned because I grew up in a different time. But I myself have never really been one for the whole online dating. It just seems like you can be really fake on there. I think I'm wrong. But that's just kind of how it seems, you know? Because you can create a persona that isn't necessarily true. Of course, you can do that in person as well. But I always thought, well, if you're going to start dating, you know, like she was talking about a singles bar, and I was like, or, yeah, like he said, barbecue, or, you know, you could meet someone getting gas, or at the grocery store, you know, or for Lou, you know, dropping Katie off at school, maybe there'd be someone or parent-teacher thing. So, yeah, there are ways that she could do it in person instead of just doing it online. But, you know, sometimes with the online stuff, you could always, if nothing else, just chat with someone. Even if you weren't really that into the online dating. You could still create a profile and find someone to chat with. Maybe it would develop into something. Maybe it wouldn't. But, I don't know. I'm with Jack on that sense that I'm a little more old-fashioned that way. Um, but, you know, I can see that, yeah, there are some benefits to it. But again, you never really know someone. And that can be in person, too. Hey there. Nice on date. Oh, thank you. I'm excited for your big date. Mm -hmm. Terrified is more like it. Oh, <laughs> come on, no, relax and enjoy yourself. You have backup matches, don't mm -hmm. you? You got more this morning when she logged in. Some that were even spreadsheet earlier. I was not going <laughs> that far. <laughs> spreadsheet, Lou. I have a present for you. New phone. Mm -hmm. yes, hey, Ty. Looks like I missed you again. Give me a call when you get this. I hope everything's going well. Love you. Maybe I could drop by for tea or something? Yeah. Uh, so now they're going to yeah, become sure, friends. I'll your okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> cool. I know she said she wasn't a big fan of Cassie, but now they're oh, getting along. Yeah. <laughs> so you figured out. Funny thing about the cell phone, funny story I want to tell. The whole thing with the butt dialing. Several years ago, I was bored one night watching Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I'd already seen it, but I was bored one night and I was like, I'll just watch this. And my husband was coming home, was coming over. This was before we lived together. And, you know, he called, told me he was on his way. That was fine. I went back to watching the movie. And Michael, you know, had slaughtered a bunch of people. And my phone rang, and it was her. And I picked it up, and all I heard was rustling on that end. And I was like, her? Her? You know, I was trying to get his attention. And I know Halloween is fiction. I know that. But just given what had just happened and the rustling on the phone. I was kind of freaked out. I was like, oh my God, you know? I was like, oh. Like I had this image of him like holding the phone being dragged away after being murdered and me going, hello, 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 you know? Just, my mind was just running wild. And then when he made it to the house, he had, must have been holding something because he bumped the door and I was like, oh my God, Michael found me. Like, I 
I was totally freaked out. It was hysterical. I mean, in retrospect, you know, he came in the house and I was like, don't ever do that to me again. But <laughs> so yeah, when she, when the whole butt dialing was going on, it made me think about that, the, the whole thing with, with Halloween 2 and and me, and like I said, I know these movies are fake, I watch horror movies all the time, but just for some reason, that going on, and then, yeah, him calling with the butt dial, it just happened that my mind just decided it wanted to run away at the moment or something. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I get that. You know, but I get that one, the butt dial, you know, especially because I'm like, Arr! like, I'm like trying to shout in the phone in case he would have heard that, which obviously he didn't because I think he was driving, but still, you know, <laughs> so I just thought I'd share that. Did you have any luck with Jane? Nope. I'm sorry. I tried, but she's really got her heart set on you around here. And besides, Georgia, that, there's go. anything else I can say. I'll go. Yeah, I'm going to convince her to be Georgia. I have to admit, I'm kind of new to this online dating thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs> I know, it's it, it's an old picture. I guess you could say it of old since then. Yeah, so is your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Profile says you have a, a fine arts degree. Yeah, I'm a glass blower. Oh, that's. Uh, I don't know yet. Good question. Uh, I, I'm I'm not sure actually. <laughs> um, I'm still working on it. I guess the guy was just looking at it. I'd heard something about a guy named Mitch, but I didn't really focus too much on it because. You know, I was hoping that Lou and Peter would still find a way back to each other. Hey, you know what? Now that she's separated from Peter, she can give Caleb a shot. Although he's with Cassie, but still. She could revisit that. I mean, she did like the kiss, so... Yeah, he, he, he realized that about the spreadsheet but yeah it is pretty anal retentive but then that's Lou and you know the thing is it is good to have expectations but yeah sometimes we can expect a little too much and sometimes you do have to adjust and there's nothing wrong with that you know like I said at first she seemed cool about the glass blowing like if the guy really had had pieces and was selling them and was able to pretty much make a living I think she would have been okay with that like oh yeah that's a cool idea you know quit your job to pursue your creative side so I think she would have been okay with that if he was you know building like an actual career So sometimes you have to let go of a few expectations and just let things happen. You know, some stuff, of course, you can be firm on. Like she was saying about stuff with family. And it's like, yes, family is very important. She said that that's why she went out with that one guy because he was very, like, family-oriented. And, you know, he was talking about the whole thing about you know, kind of the wife being home. And I'm like, but as far as I know, she does a blog. So she's home anyways. So I'm sure in a situation like that, he would be fine because she would already be at home working on a blog while taking care of the kids. So that didn't seem like that should have been an issue to me. But, and then of course, yeah, she'd still be running Maggie's and the dude ranch so maybe that would have been the issue because she'd be running Maggie's in the dude ranch but even with that he might again he might change his mind too on a few things 
I mean, look, she was adamant against going out with an oil man, and then she married Peter, an oil man. So, you know, sometimes things change. Sometimes you allow things to change, especially if it's someone that you want to be with. Girls might sell this with Caleb in that outfit. <laughs> okay. I gotta admit, Caleb's kind of sexy. Carrie James probably loved doing that. He probably thought that, that was funnier than hell, you know, putting on that outfit. And then he's like, when she when they were talking there and he had that idea I was like oh god is he gonna dress yep <laughs> oh I'm not gonna get over that anytime soon that is pretty fucking funny and the, yeah the whole thing with autocorrect it's never ducking I mean it could be ducking if you're ducking a you know, ducking something, like a physical action, but usually it's never ducking. Although I think we should use it more. Instead of saying, you know, I'm effing pissed, you could say, I'm ducking pissed. I think we should use it a little more. Why not, right? Ducks deserve more love. Well, she thought Peter was the right guy. Uncle made Mr. Perfect in New York. I don't know if Caleb walks up to her in that outfit, she might like it. Yeah, the room check on that teeth. Soraya and Ashley are gone. I know I'm the one who suggested that, but the thing is, sitting around gabbing over tea, not really my thing. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. <laughs> well, how about I help you exercise your horses somewhere? I'm in the road. I'm learning. That's what happens when you date a cowboy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was say, they could always just gab over beers. She might like that better. Go check out our new job. No, each trick or even star. <laughs> Good boy, Treble. And Cassie's saying that the acupuncture helped. Good. Yay. The acupuncture helped. That's nice. I'll go out for a ride. Hopefully someone's on Harley since Harley wanted some riding. In fact, I think that might be what Sandra's on. Sandra might be on Harley. Or Jade. <laughs> Girls, girlfriends. showing all five of them, kind of showing them as like, you know, girlfriends, you know, there they, Amy and Cassie were talking about not really having much in terms of girlfriends, and it's like, well, yeah, okay, you have family there too with Georgie and Lou, 
But then there was also Jade. I think Jade was on Harley because, you know, they would mentioned about Harley. So I kind of figured that they probably had tacked up Harley since they knew he wanted to run. Because it looked like Cassie was on Trouble. And then I'm sure... I'm sure that Georgie was on Phoenix and everything. So, so, yeah, someone was on Harley. So, yeah, it was kind of nice to see that. But, yeah, kind of the whole girlfriend thing, you know, they're all going off and riding their horses, you know, doing the girlfriend friend thing. Yeah, it is good to have friends, especially when going through a change. But sometimes... Sometimes it's not feasible. Sometimes it just doesn't work. You know? Lou, of course, will be okay. That Mitch guy, I mean, he was kind of a bit of a jerk. I mean, I know at first, you know, when she had talked about wanting to take things slow, obviously that wasn't him. He was obviously looking to score. Uh... Which is why he kind of walked away. But it's like, you can have different perspectives and that's okay. And she thinks, you know, three bad dates and that's it. And I'm like, but especially after the breakup that you had with Peter and getting back out there, it might take a bit of time. You know, just because those three dates were bad doesn't mean that the fourth one will be. And if it is, maybe you're just not meant to go out with anyone for a while. Maybe you need to hold off for a couple more months. She can go ahead and start moving on, but maybe not necessarily date right away. You know, people do things at different speeds. Some, you know, get a relationship pretty quickly. Some take a while. And either way is fine. Thank you for joining me for this reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still laughing at Caleb. <laughs> Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hit the notification bell to be alerted to be alerted of future Heartland reactions. If you can, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.